So, Miss Earth is to date probably the, no, definitely the biggest production I have ever done. It is a science fiction comedy that I wrote. It's set a thousand years in the future, and sort of like Hunger Games in space, where a beauty queen is sent to compete for the survival of our planet. Uh, it was very ambitious, so when New Form Digital approached me and said, hey, we're contacting a bunch of online people to make short films, and we'll give you a $10,000 budget, I was like, yes, because I think this short film would cost me maybe 30 to 40 grand, so that knocks off about a third to a fourth of my budget. I think people are gonna love it because Greg's masks are amazing. He had Marisa, who was the purple alien, like all three of her eyes blink at the same time. Coordinating that was crazy. We shot the beauty pageant stuff here at the YouTube space, but for the actual in-space sets, we decided we should go off-site. Initially, we were gonna rent like a bunch of makeup trailers and like park outside of the YouTube space like five hours in advance, because they have some restrictions in terms of how much you can actually shoot here and what time the building opens, and it's not exactly ideal when you're trying to do 14, 16-hour days. So we ended up going to uh, EVS, which is a studio located in Glendale, Glendale Burbank area. And they have a huge stage, stage one, which was all white and completely empty. And we decided to set up there because we could do at least, at least 14 hour days. And they're super nice over there. So if you're ever looking for a sound stage, definitely hit up EVS. I think the whole experience was really challenging. With uh, Miss Earth, we had, I think about 30 people every day and everyone was doing like two to three jobs. Was, sometimes Greg thinks I'm more competent than I actually am. Uh, he like uh, thinks that I know things about certain aspects of art or production and I'm like Greg, like you know that I've never done this before. It was really hard in that regard to know everything that was going on and plan effectively for everything that we were doing. But Greg had a lot of great input. Directing and acting is already so hard because you're jumping from left brain to right brain, but with Miss Earth it was also so much producing and so much um, assistant directing and, and so much organizational stuff and so it was just a lot to handle mentally. There were moments when I would just burst out laughing for absolutely no reason and I was like, I'm going insane! Uh, but I really loved the whole process. Like now that I've had some time away from the stress and we're going into like 12 days till delivery but we just wrapped the last shot day. It's still really crazy, but I think it's gonna look great. Next time I'm just gonna do like a fucking office comedy. It was a very stressful experience, but also I think really defining in the sense of if anything is going to kill me, I would hope that it would be film. And if anything is going to be my life struggle, I would hope that it would be creating science fiction comedies where aliens have mind battles and fuck each other up. Overall, Everyone worked really hard, and it drove us all a little crazy at times, but I think that not every shoot can wrap four hours early, and not every shoot can go amazing. And these are the shoots where you learn the most, and where you grow the most. And I've certainly taken some very valuable lessons in terms of being a director, and an actor, and a producer, and just overall a creator in general. And being a boss, and being just on set for a really long time in heels, and how I should probably buy some Ugg boots for the future. So lots of, lots of wise lessons have been learned. And yeah, I loved it. I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. <laughs>